Hey guys, Harrison 11 back at it once again with a brand new video for you and welcome to round two of our 2013 season review live from Malaysia. Very, very, very interesting race, probably for all the wrong reasons because let's just be real here, Team Orders reared its ugly head. Um, there's one major talking point to, to mention here and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to dedicate the whole video to that as soon as I give, give through the uh, basic running order. Um, Sebastian Vettel wins in Malaysia, his 27th career race win, putting him joint sixth on the all-time wins list with Jackie Stewart, um, free, another three-time world champion. Mark Webber in second place, but maybe deserved the win. We'll talk about that in a little bit. Lewis Hamilton third, Nico Rosberg fourth, Felipe Massa fifth for Ferrari, a good result from him. Romain Grosjean and Kimi Raikkonen, the two Lotus drivers, sixth and seventh. Nico Hülkenberg gets his, gets his first point scoring result of the year in 8th, as does Sergio it's not a, a tenor back, it's not actually his first point scoring result, but Sergio Perez in ninth had bad tyre issues the whole way through, and Jean-Eric Verne in 10th for Toro Rosso scoring a point. Good result from him. Bottas came through in 11th, the best result for a rookie driver so far this season. Um, Esteban Guterres 12th, and Jules Bianchi 13th for Mauricio. Charles Pick 14th. Gino van der Gaard, 15th. Max Chilton, the last of the finishers in 16th. The six retirements, Jensen Button, parked everything with a fuel filler issue in 17th. Daniel Ricciardo, 18th. Pastor Maldonado, Adrian Sutil, Paul De Resta and Fernando Alonso, the, the other retirements. Alonso retired after clipping his front wing on the back of Vettel's car on the opening lap. And then contact with Mark Webber crushed his front wing and he was out. Um, Force India had some bad pit stop issues. Um... Both cars had issues there in the pit lane, had, I think, wheel nut problems, and so they, they were both out as well. Anywho, the issue here is that in the final stint of the Grand Prix, after the last um, set of pit stops, and on fresh rubber, Red Bull told both their drivers to turn the engines down and to basically coast to the line. Sebastian Vettel ignored that radio signal, overtook Weber, and would go on to win the race. Um, Vettel would go on to apologise in the press conference afterwards, saying if you know he put himself deliberately as the black sheep in this situation. Um, now uh, people are going to jump on me for being a Vettel fan, but I'm going to be objective here and say, you know what, this this is an ugly situation, no matter which way you cut it or whatever your view is, because clearly the the main talking point here was not the race, was not the terrific scrap that Weber and Vettel had for those two laps. It was clearly about team orders and politics. You know, it, it's really its ugly head again in this sport because, you know, nobody really likes team orders. Nobody wants to see a procession, you know, to the finish line. Even though we, 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 we saw that so many times with Schumacher and Barrichello, for instance, when Ferrari was so dominant. Does anybody really want to see that? I don't know. But as a, as a racing fan, I want to see racing. You know what I mean? I don't want to see the main talking point be politics. You know what I mean? It's It's... it's it's ugly. You know, Weber's obviously going to feel ridiculously hard done by. So is Nico Rosberg, because he was affected by team orders as well in the battle for third with Lewis Hamilton. Mercedes had showed some great race pace for out. Um, on a better day, they may have challenged for the race win. They just didn't have it in them this time around. But Rosberg looked like he was the faster guy between him and uh, Hamilton. And... Uh, Ross, uh, Rosberg was put, was going to the radio saying, let me pass him, let me pass him. And Ross Broad was on the radio was saying, not going to happen. Bring the cars home, please. Leave a gap. And, you know, Nico respectfully said no. So he so, no, respectfully said, yeah, okay, well, I'll back off. And he said in the pit lane afterwards, uh, remember this one, guys. And, you know, Hamilton got to celebrate his podium. Um, very classy way in Hamilton dealt with the situation on the podium by saying Nico should be here and not me. He Even he acknowledged that Rosberg was the faster guy. But, you know, it's an awkward situation for all involved. And, you know, Vettel didn't carry himself on the podium very well by saying, oh, it was just the heat, you know, heat in the moment kind of thing, while Hamilton was very classy in the way he dealt with the situation himself. But overall, no matter which way you cut it, it's ugly. You know, whatever your view is, if you're, if your view is of the incident, um... Per, my personal opinion, I might turn this into an online race episode because I, I was thinking about doing an online race episode about Sebastian Vettel anyway. Now it's just, just uh, giving me more material to use or anything else, but um, that definitely will be coming probably later next week, maybe th maybe Wednesday or Thursday. Um, but people are going to ask me for my personal opinion on this. My personal opinion is 
If the win is up is available to you, you go for it. That that's just my opinion. People are gonna call me biased because I'm a Vettel fan. Bring it on in the comments. I say I don't care. I would say this about any driver, but in my opinion, team orders are ugly. I think they are almost a form of race fixing, and you know, and nobody wants to see that. As a fan of racing, I don't want to see guys go in a procession, and. As much as I feel sorry for Mark Webber and Nico Rosberg, I really do because they were, they they both had shots at, at third place, and it, and you know obviously Webber had a shot at the race win. At the same time, God forbid a guy who wants to try and you know win the race, isn't that the ultimate aim more than anything else? But of course, you know I'm just one guy. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say on this one. Of course, a very very controversial thing. Team orders and politics, obviously the main talking point of the day. Let me know what you thought of the race, and obviously any and all incidents. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say as usual. Um, so yeah, I've been Harrison101. Thank you very much for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe, and I will catch you guys next time. Sayonara. P.S. Around the corner tomorrow night. Ta-ta.